Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and I want to dig into something right now. So I've been reading a lot of comments from the Nissan Titan and the Toyota Tundra comparison I did a couple days ago. And in that video, I laid out some specs for Nissan Titan XD, which in that case was the XD version of Titan. And I have a lot of comments saying I'm wrong, that the payload number was actually wrong, the towing number is wrong, and the whole thing comparison is wrong because my facts were wrong. As a journalist, all I have is my integrity and facts, and so I hate making mistakes. Oh, it just gets under my skin. And so I do my best to make sure the information out there that's most accurate. And so I started diving into this, and it turns out, I don't know if I was wrong. I think there's a learning opportunity here for everybody to understand what's going on with some of these trucks and some of these numbers. Let's first start with the video. So we're going to go on the screen. I'm going to go to the, I think it's the eight second mark. Uh, it's right about here. And we can see along the screen, I have the Nissan Titan XD with the endurance engine. We have the platinum reserve trim. We have the bed length. We have max towing is 9,730 9, pounds and 1,690 pounds of payload. For the Tundra, we have 11,120 pounds of max towing and 1,400 pounds of payload. And people said, well, first of all, they said your payload number is wrong. And I think what they're doing is they're going here to Nissan Titan or t Nissan USA and looking at the Titan XD versus Titan and they can say hey the crew cab payload is up to 2430 pounds it can't be 1690 if it's 2400 pounds well there's an asterisk there and it says properly equipped most people think that means like a payload package whatever no it means lots less options <laughs> no options base truck more options you add more payload goes down so let's talk about where you get the number from so I can show you at like the was it six minutes and seven second mark I actually point out the sticker, which is right here on the door. Now, my criticism myself, I could get a little bit closer in there and really show you the sticker and really zoom in and make sure it's a really clear image, so that's my bad. But let's look at the sticker one more time on a bigger scale. So this is the media site, this is where I get my loans from, and you can see right here, 1,690 pounds. Here, I'll open it up. 1,690 pounds of payload. Now, that is the official number for that truck. No matter what the owner's manual says, no matter what you see online, it's all garbage because that's the number that you have to go by because that's a number that is your legal requirement to go by. For example, if you overload your truck, you do something dangerous to your truck, whatever, uh, lawyers can look at that number and say, your payload is 1690, and you as a driver and owner are responsible for knowing the limits of your vehicle. That's your legal responsibility right here. So that number is... Massive. So, okay, so we know 1690, so we know it's not 2400, but what about towing? Towing seems a little weird, right? So I did some research into that as well. So I said towing was, let's go back to this, is 9,730 pounds. And people were like, well, that's ridiculous. You can't do, you know, what the heck? Um, they were like, you're completely wrong. Because right here, again, 11,000 pounds of towing is what max towing capacity is. Well, that's with a gooseneck hookup. Now, with half-ton trucks, and XD is a little bit of a weird thing, I should have mentioned gooseneck. I, I, I don't typically mention that weight unless we do heavy duties. But let's take a look at these numbers. So what I do is I go over here to Nissan USA. It's Nissan News. It's the PR page that I use, public relations, media site. This is the stuff. And they have a specs page here, which I find completely invaluable. <laughs> I can't live without this spec. So... What's cool about this specs page is I can click on the top and it takes me to Titan XD crew cast specification. So I'm not looking at the regular Titan, Titan XD, and I can see, here we go. These are all the Titan XD crew cast specifications. So as I scroll down, because this document's massive, look how small my little cursor is. As I go all, it's all the way down to here, it's gonna be, again, massive document. All right, here we go. Dimensions, we have interior sizing, we have weights, we have curb weights, we have pay maximum payload. So maximum payload on the Platinum Reserve is 1,890 pounds. So my truck was very close that I had for the loan. It was only 2,000 pounds different, or 200 pounds difference. We have fuel tanks, which is interesting. People talk a lot about fuel, fuel tank size. That was interesting. Oh, I must have passed the towing. Let me go back up. I know it's in here somewhere because this is the document I went source information. Here we go. Towing features and capacities. A capacity, yeah. So we can see what the integrated gooseneck. This is standard or optional, standard or optional. Maximum towing capacity, traditional when properly equipped for the Platinum Reserve, which is what I had, was 9,730 pounds. 
your S trims or your maximum toe capacity gooseneck and the SV trim, that's 11,060 pounds. Now, maximum towing capacity gooseneck was 9,930 pounds, so I was off by 160 pounds because I didn't mention the gooseneck towing capacity. That's my fault. Um, but I didn't have a, I don't know, my fault. Let's just go with that. <laughs> I could argue that way either way. So we know that 9,730 pounds is for that platinum reserve, and we can see the towing capacity changes as you go through different uh, trims. And we can see maximum towing capacity with a, on the tongue, how much weight capacity put on the tongue, that kind of stuff. So they got me thinking like, you know, what happened? Wasn't the maximum towing capacity like 12,000 pounds this thing came out? So I did a little bit of uh, quick Googling um, because I was like, okay, 2022 Nissan Titan XD towing capacity from 9, 9730, which is what I quoted, to 10,920, which matches, uh, yeah, matches right there. So those are the specs that matches that range. So I thought, okay, let's go back to 2017. Oh, 2017 is 9,800 pounds to 12,640 pounds. And I thought, where'd they get that from? And I went over here to an old press release. This is from 2017, the pricing. As you can see, the Titan XD King, Crab, King Cab offers a maximum payload towing capacity of 12,510 pounds with the diesel engine and maximum payload capacity of 2,710 pounds in the gas engine. Now, they don't offer the King Cab anymore in XD. It's only crew cab only, which is why those payload numbers are different. And also the five liter V8 Cummins went away. So that going away, if, if you look at the difference here, with that Cummins leaving, they lost 1,500 pounds of, pay, of towing. So t almost 11,000 versus 12,6. So somewhere in that range, I mean, my math's not the great skills, but they lost quite a bit of towing capacity when they lost the diesel. I think that's what got people confused because if you look back, if you owned a 2018 or 19, whatever, whenever the year they canceled the diesel, I can't quite remember off the top of my head. But if you own one of those, you're like, well, my towing capacity is a lot more than that truck was. What happened? Well, that's what happened. The diesel went away. And for those wondering on the Toyota Tundra, if my numbers are correct, I, again, I go to the media site. This is the media Toyota press room. And I go down the spec sheet. So I have 2022 Toyota Tundra product information, which, again, these spec sheets are invaluable. We post my website. We take this details and put them in their usable details because there's so much going on here. But if you look at the 2022 Tundra, and you look at, I have a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. I have not the iForce Max, just this one. I have the five and a half foot short bed and I have a crew cab, crew max four by four. I have 11,120 pounds and on the limited. When I go back here, 11,120 pounds of max towing. So my numbers there are pretty spot on. And you can go down further. You see GVWR, you can see maximum payload. And for example, the maximum payload on the iForce Limited is 1740 or 1645. Like, oh, that's different bed lengths. 1740, but I have 1400 pounds of payload. Again, pan and moon roof, things have changed. Although the TFL Tundra had the same payload I had, I had a moon roof, they did not. A little snippet for you there, a little interesting thing for you there. So looking back at the data, I don't think I was wrong when I did these numbers. I think they're pretty spot on based on information I'm provided from the Nissan media site. I think what happens here is we get caught up in the marketing stuff from the Nissan.com website, which is, I don't usually use manufactured sites because that's driven by the marketing team. And I find the marketing team makes some mistakes. The PR team, at least I can call somebody, say, hey, you made a mistake here and they change it. From the marketing team, it's a whole different ball of wax. But that's the information I have. That's why I quoted those numbers. That's why I did what I did because Whenever I get a new vehicle, I take that sticker, the Monroney, the sales sticker, and I go research everything and I write down all my numbers to make sure I'm accurate. So again, I just want to put a video out there kind of explaining where I got information from, whether or not I was wrong, which I don't think I was, and why things don't always match up when you see a video review on YouTube versus what you see on the marketing, the commercial, the website. Because we're talking real world information on YouTube and these reviews versus the fantasy land that a lot of brands put out there, those big numbers. There you go. There's all what I have for you this morning. Check out the videos over here, website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.